Wow. Yes, sir. Are you working? That's it. That's what self consistency is the key. You you working with the crack jokers this weekend? I'm with the crack jokers this weekend, man. The original crack jokers, Tony Rose. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's what we do. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Howie. It's Friday. This Saturday starters, man. You gotta come check us out, man. Big show. You know we call Tony the Black Tony Star. <laughs> he feel it. See, see how he can feel that. They got the same demeanor. They got the same demeanor. Those eyes. And then, eyes. And then I shocked Tony this yeah. morning when I told him he and Robert Downey Jr. are about the same height. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. That's real. No, that's real. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I know. They'll find it. <laughs> no day. <laughs> no day. <laughs> Howie, we'll we'll look for you this weekend, man. I'm glad you made the call to check in with us. That's going to be a big show at Starters this weekend, Ooh. Friday and Saturday. Showtime is eight o'clock. The original crack joke. Uh, yeah. Howie. Before you go, there is a legend now that you left, a, friend, a footprint that's deep. That people all have their own story about and how great it was when you came in and spoke up for Tony Brown against the Jamie Foxx radio show. They dismantled the show. Claudia had to run to the back and cry. Oh, God, I was there, yeah. Howie. I, you, you are my hero. Howie, <laughs> I love no. you. Howie, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Claudia Jordan, yeah. Claudia Jordan. Mm-hmm. No, they weren't our show. You lit them up. Yes. <laughs> Tony, she ran to the back crying. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See. <laughs> yeah. That's well, all right. Well, it dis it dismantled that show. It did. Claudia Jordan got out of that business. Yes. And I mean they they had they never saw it coming. But thank you for standing up for Detroit. Period. That's what's up. Oh, that's right. that's what's up. Born and raised, man. Thank you, John R. Come on, man. We, that's what's that's up, baby. We'll see you this weekend <laughs> at Tony Roney's Howie. Comic View, uh, Vibe Inside Starters on Plymouth. Two shows Friday night, 8, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. Thanks for making the call, Howie. All right, man. Love y'all, man. Love thank you. you. Howie the crazy ass Howie. bell. Every yeah. time you ring his bell, crazy as hell. That was that Detroit legend. Yeah. They still probably talk about that. Claudia probably wake up and her they head do. shake. She's like, I okay. that <laughs> Who the hell was that? Oh, God. Tony? Yeah. Our crack joker who will premiere this weekend is? Yeah. Um, the one and only dog. What up, dog? 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 What
Oh, dude. Good morning, Mason. Good morning, Miss Star. How yes, y'all doing? Yes, we are good. We started this way, dog. What high school for you? I went to Bishop Borges. The oh. old school in Redford, yeah. Oh, Wait, whoa, hold it. Neighborhood. You went to Bishop Borges? I went to Bishop Borges. Graduated from Bishop Borges, yeah. I don't 91. know if I'm, I'm older than you, man. She a lot older than you. I was the first black cheerleader, though. Oh, did that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's history. Hey, man. <laughs> I was. I was. See, that was what I'm talking about, too. You know what I'm talking about. Borges was the vibe. He took me back to Daishiki's. Afro, bell bottoms, stack your shoes. BHS. On the porch, sitting on the porch in the neighborhood. Dig that. That's real. So, dog, you graduate from from Borges? Borges. Borges. I did, 1991. Wow. Born and raised in Detroit. Been here my whole life. But y'all mm-hmm. parents sent you to private school. Yeah, they, oh, they, they had the money. So smart, so they got me on out of the house. Got me down the street. Go, go to that Catholic school, see what they can do to you. Nothing. Wow. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. You, you like school. Oh, I love school. I love school. That's where I got my comedy from in school. Wow. Absolutely. That's how I learned I was funny in school, getting out of class. You you then do what? You graduate? I graduated from Borges. I went to Eastern trying to follow my high school sweetheart. Uh, that didn't work out good because she had just dumped me right before prom. Uh, we actually, the story comes back around though, because we got back together in 2017 and just got married in 2022. So, oh, you know what I'm the love does work. Love does work. The cookie oh, monster. The what cookie a monster. Story. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So uh, after after Borges, I went to Eastern, cried my heart out because my ex girlfriend was right across campus going to class and going to class with my friends, and Ooh. I couldn't love her anymore. So that's a whole other conversation. But like I said, long story short, we got back together in 2017 and just got married in 2022. What turned the light on of comedy, though? What what made you think you could grab a mic and go on stage? Because booze don't hurt. If somebody boo you, it don't hurt. Nose don't hurt and booze don't hurt. When I learned those two rules of life, I said I could do anything in the world. Because if I try and do something and somebody say, no, you can't do it, I can just pick myself up and do something else. <laughs> Period. <laughs> if I go on one stage and get booed, I walk off, go on another stage, try it again. I never saw you get booed, though. You, I hope you don't. Yeah. <laughs> real. Wow, yeah. dog. So how many years professionally in the business? So I originally started using my regular name, Rodney Carson, but I told a joke that I said, maybe I need, shouldn't use my real name no more. So I started going by dog after that. Uh, so I originally started uh, about 15 years ago at some open mics, but I started getting really good at it and focused on it about three years ago. And then I came around Tony Roney and became a crack joker. Wow, I, I, I guess I guess I have a little inside information. Uh, I do know this about Dog. Uh, he is a very uh, out. What do you call it? Not introvert. So if you oh if no, you I'm know, out. <laughs> what's expert, it? expert, expert. Whatever, Ex- whatever. Extrovert. What's, oh, what is it? Extrovert. That is it. Yeah. I said that too. It. Okay. <laughs> Y'all yeah, always think I get it wrong. He he, because he he has. Uh, an assurance about himself uh, and a bubbly personality, so the public doesn't doesn't bother him. Was it a lot of white people when at Borges when you went there? It was about half and half. Half and half when you got there. Yeah. When I went, it was only like ten percent black. Oh, dig that! I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> you already know. Yeah, yeah. So okay. You came up, I, I, you I came was up pioneer. for real from right, Borges. Right. <laughs> yeah. I was one of the black I, that's what's pioneers. <laughs> Outside of Detroit, <laughs> what comedians? Do you admire or did admire? Uh, Robin Harris. Robin I Harris. I love yeah, the ones that I talk from the hip, yeah. you know, and talk their truth. I love those type of comedians. Of course, Eddie Murphy and, and Richard Pryor. What I learned from Richard Pryor is that that inner truth that you can tell who you really are, and people will find it funny. And there's nothing more funny than real life. So that's the path I go to. I tell a lot of truth in my comedy. I talk about myself. Talk about my daughter. Talk about my mama. If I meet you, I'm gonna talk about you too. You know. So. <laughs> That's what I love about it. This is Don Tony Roddy yeah. performing. Tony. Yeah, absolutely. Tony, more like yeah, Tony. Yeah, it's gonna be a big I show. And, and I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, we we're taping this show because when Howie's on the show and Dog's on the show, I gotta tape it so I can get my views up, my subscribers up. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, absolutely. Yes, no it's Downtown Tony Brown, the number one um, video, and then Howie Bell. And uh, so now we got to get dog on there, Dog, too. Be on there. dog. Yeah. dog did it. Dog did That's it. beautiful, man. I met, and he went to Borges, me and you. <laughs> that, I yeah, have never is. interviewed bro, bro. nobody. I yeah. never said, have I? They went to my high school. Okay, so oh, we know we had the money. Yeah, your, your wife went to Borges, too? Yes, she did. Yes. Wow, what's her name? Samika. 
Samika, what up, baby? Hey, hey. AKA the cookie, the cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. I got to meet her. That's, that's never a problem. Dog, when, oh. you come back, when you come back, bring your wife. Thank you for Yes. Having. Thank you all for having me. I'm going to bring some of her cookies, too. Cookie Monster. That's why they call her because she can get down with the cookies. She makes homemade cookies. You should have brought some. They're amazing. I'm going to bring some next time I'm down here, for real. Cool. Last thing I want to say, because I got I to gotta run because I made it late. Um, thank you for making me comfortable a hundred years ago when I came into a store and had to buy a cell phone, didn't know what I was doing. Really? I think I was trying to leave and you wouldn't let me leave. You made me stay in the store. You made me comfortable. The music sounded good. I felt good. You brought great energy and you not only sold me the phone, but you taught the phone to me so that I'd be comfortable with music. I can imagine you are crazy as hell on that stage because that day you brought you beat the sunshine that day. That's a blessing. Thank you for that. And customer service is a lot like stand up. So you come to my show. My job is to make you laugh for real. That's See, it. we, we started it. the morning talking about yeah. customer service. Oh yeah. But my quote of the day, and I, I want you guys to to take this because this is the realest that I've heard all day. We've had some powerhouses on the show. Booze don't hurt. And nose don't hurt. Yep. Don't you can hurt. you can always that's get up and that's that that's that board. There it is. That's that board. Board is up in the B, building. B, 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 B. Starters on Plymouth? Yes, starters on Plymouth. And call my number if you wanna if you wanna take advantage of the tickets. 313-523-0946 and text me who's gonna be with you and I'll get you in. Yes. Three one three five two three. 0946 live comedy start laughing at starters um, Plymouth? yes on Plymouth Tony Roney's comic vibe inside starters on Plymouth the funniest comedy show in the world best comedy club longest standing comedy club in Detroit for the last 16 years um, we want y'all to show up Howie Bell dogs gonna be Ooh. there and, and the, the yes and you can also go to the website Tony Roney's comic vibe dot com get your tickets as well the Black Tony Stark. Yeah, and make sure. Big, big shout out to two people, man, been supporting me. Good helpers, heating and cooling, and Kevin's all season line and and, line and landscaping. Yawning. Okay. There's Good nothing. season. Yes. My crew. Kevin's from Southwest Detroit. Yeah, we went to school together. No kidding. Yes, absolutely. No. It's very, very good. Though. And the landscaping crew is what? Yes. Uh, no, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's all season. Uh, lawn and landscaping. Right, yeah. There you go. Yeah. And the heating and cooling company? Um, Kip, good he been, good good helpers, heating and cooling. Good help. Yes, been supporting comedy, um, not just my comedy show, but all the comedy shows in the city. Yes. And that's Big important. It's the black Tony Stars. Tony Roney, baby! Love you, Howie Bell and the dog. dog. <laughs>